Not counting today. One more day to go. And my truck's gas tank is leaking. <laughs> like I needed one more thing. <laughs> The awesome thing about lunch breaks is watching other people work. <laughs> what? Are you guys gonna miss me? You just live down the street. I can come over every day after work. And help me with my cars? Yes. I'll pay you five bucks an hour. How does that sound? No, for for you, two fifty. Still upset about my broken window. That hasn't changed. But guys, one more day, and I still don't understand it. I talked to the owner's wife today, and I said, "Yeah, you know that tomorrow's my last day, right?" And she's like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "I still don't know why," and she's like, "Yeah." Anyway, and then she started going in talking about the work order, like she totally dodged it. I'm like, dude, that just bothers me. I, I don't want to sound wussy right now, but I need closure. All right, guys, let's get home. I've got side work lined up tonight, one job. So we'll see what happens. And we also have piano destruction. And oh, I, oh my gosh, I got to start editing that video, the palette tutorial. Oops. I had to pull over and film this, guys. It just got through raining. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see this? It's like a foggy church parking lot. The asphalt is steaming. That's so awesome. It's like it's like its own nature's fog machine. I know it's hard to see through my dirty windows. <laughs> but see? Look at that. That's just badass. Nature's fog machine. Hi, baby. <laughs> All righty. He needs another nap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, Alright guys, so anyway, um, I came home to a package <laughs> from uh, Columbia Manor. Huh? I don't have a package. I hope you don't have a pack. That's proof you don't have a package. <laughs> yeah, poor baby. Um, the minute you, he was so excited, he was jumping up and down the couch, and he's going, "Dad, Dad, Daddy!" He was like, "Yay!" The minute you came in the door, he was like, ah. "I'm like, what?" Yeah, I don't understand why he trips out when I'm like, "Why? I come home. Why?" I don't. But get that. like two hours from now, he'll be all clingy on me, and he'll can be like hugging me and stuff like that. So I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, package. Can you hold? No, hold. <laughs> Package thief. All right. So, uh, I, I never know how to open these because I don't want to like rip it. No, this part right here. Okay. Well, okay. I, I never know if I should like rip it across and then rip the contents or. I'll, I'll open it like this. Ooh, ooh, there's a note. I saw I saw a CK, and I was like, boy, is he telling me to off? <laughs> I saw CK. It, it's probably luck. Oh, truck. Troy's truck reimagined from Corey. Oh, and gosh. so you guys know that um, Tori does, um, like, uh, not Matchbox, Hot Wheels. Oh, maybe both. Sorry, I don't know. Hot, Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars. He goes and he, like, he redoes them, and he modifies them. And, and he's given us a couple... And that's how he gets some of his haunt money. So it's, it's, ooh. Oh my God, that is freaky badass. Oh my wow. God, that is so cool. It totally wow. looks like your truck. <laughs> it really, really does. Oh my God, Corey, thank you so much. This, dude, this made my day. The, oh my God, that is so cool. Yeah, so he goes through and he puts like the decal, um, you guys would probably say decals, but decals, yes. you know, whatever. Uh, he puts those on it, and then he paints the tires, and the, it looks like he gave the truck a new paint job too. That's just so cool. Oh, look at the kitty cat on the hood. Meow. Hey, wait, that looks like the bike background truck. on your phone. Bike truck. <laughs> oh, bike truck. Does it, did you hear him? Bike truck. Daddy's truck? That's how he says daddy's truck now for whatever reason. 
No, this is Daddy's truck. Oh, I'll let him hold it for a minute. No! Let him hold it for no, a minute. No, he will eat it. No, he won't. He will eat it. Just let him hold it for a minute. Here. Thank you, Papa. Oh, well, thank you. You have to make the noise Daddy's truck makes. <laughs> thank you, Corey. <laughs> he said you're welcome. <laughs> you're not Corey. All right, guys. So there it is. Another satisfied customer. Now I got to clean up. <laughs> but hey, it's still daylight outside. But hey, I haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to go inside and eat because I'm hungry. Now to ride to Jack. Way too loud. Shh. I got to remember I'm in a neighborhood, not in a shop. And she asked me, are you done? And I'm like, yeah. I walk in the door and he's like, Daddy! He was he was trying to tell you, Kitty, Kitty, though, because we're watching funny cat videos again. <laughs> <laughs> it helps him eat. That's 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 why. All right, oh, that's guys. not why. We like to watch funny cat videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So okay. So the, based on that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What is your guys' favorite or most funniest thing that you see on the internet? Post it down below. Post a link if you want to. Brought, I'll unspam it. They brought this taxidermy cat in and they had like oh, four cats. Oh yeah, I've seen that. They had like four cats coming up to sniff it and then the guy goes, and all the cats went, <laughs> 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 I have to see that again. It was cool. <laughs> Once again, guys, it's time for cock. I don't know how many nights I've done cock. It's usually every night. It is every night. I can't remember when I started doing cock. Do you guys remember when the first cock was? How many times have I said cock? Don't count, I don't wanna know. Fun night tomorrow night, I'm going to uh, Jeff and Annie's house, possible campfire, just uh, it depends on the weather situation, so that's gonna be fun. And let's see what else, I guess that's it. Star Wars Shack, went into a factory today which was closing down and the owner said I can take what I like from what was left, oh my god. Pallets, tons of wood, black paint. That's this year's haunt taken care of. You would have been in heaven. Lucky. Good score. Good find. Um, did you know the owner? Or did you just like walk into the warehouse? Or how, how did that happen? Emerald Gypsy Heart, um, you're talking about food poisoning and you got sick and yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah. For lack of a better term, I don't like coleslaw. <laughs> Oh, Richard R. Great video. Thanks for the awesome videos. I've been laid up in the hospital for a while. I watch your videos when they clean out my wounds. It takes my mind off the pain, bro. Thanks for the good times. Happy haunting. Well, that's cool. I'm I'm glad that that helps you. What ha if you don't mind me asking? What happened? Cleaning out your wounds. That sounds painful. One thing that my parents taught me when I was a kid, when I'd have to go through something painful bite on a pencil. The BDL Express. Have you copyrighted your haunt name or thought about doing so? Well, little known fact about copyright, anytime that you create anything is instantly copywritten. The unfortunate thing is, is you kind of have to prove it if someone else comes along. However, uh, YouTube works with you as a creator for your uh, content and that's the awesome thing about putting stuff on YouTube. There's a time and date stamp that cannot be changed on the videos, so that right there kind of serves as uh, proof of copyright. Now, I should still go out and get it trademarked. That costs lots of But that costs lots of God, I can't even say that. But that costs lots of this. Say that five times fast. Say it even. Never mind. I can't. I'm just going to stop talking. Chelsea Rivera, Troy, thank you so much for the shout out. It was great seeing how happy he got when he heard you say that. It means a lot. And I want to wish you the best of luck on this new chapter of your life. Well, thank you very much. And I would have gotten back to you, but for some reason I couldn't have I couldn't send a message um, from I, I couldn't send a message to you. So 
I would have gotten back to you say, hey, yeah, I looked at it, or I read it, or I'm going to do it, but I, that's why I threw it at the beginning of the video, because I figured if you guys were going to see it, it would have been there. Hollywood Properties, I've had plenty of experience moving, moving pianos that size. We have one at our theater, and have to lift it down into and out of our orchestra pit. Those sucker, suckers are heavy. I imagine, like, just, like, a bunch of people, like, lifting this piano, but you guys have something to do it with, like a strap or a forklift or something, right? Yes? <laughs> Dab it, 353. It's the return of the atomic brain! <laughs> Just to let you know, guys, uh, yesterday's video when we were down at storage and the brain and the, the, the apparatus thing with all the lights and everything, uh, Dana made that and he gave it to us several years ago. Jordan Winton. Yes, it's brass and bass strings are copper. Um, I, I hate to tell you this, but God, I was so upset this morning. I took my magnet as I was walking by the piano out to the truck this morning, and I wanted to see if that big piece in the back was brass. The magnet stuck to it. In case you guys don't know, steel and iron are ferrous metals. In other words, they are magnetic. Brass, gold, platinum, silver, Basically, your precious metals are not magnetic. So, I, I took my magnet and I stuck it to it and it stuck. It's not brass. So upset. And finally, to round out the comments, Apocalypse 38. Troy, have you heard of the Shattered Nightmares Haunted Houses Warehouse Fire? Yeah, I have heard about that and that's, that's horrible. So, it, gosh, it really sucks. Um, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Shattered Nightmares Haunted House had an arsonist burn it down and they didn't have anything uh, uh, covered uh, under insurance because they only got insurance during the haunt season. So yeah, so they lost everything. So on that sad note, <laughs> happy haunting guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Happy hauntings from the Bloodshed Manor.